okay, here's the deal. It might be four weeks in, six weeks in, eight weeks in before we can actually legally start doing people's hair. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to teach you how to retouch your roots. Now, I am not saying that this is for everyone. I am saying that this is for people who have darker hair or a different color hair and they are growing an absolute skunk stripe, lots of tinsel, lots of gray. They can't stand themselves and they have to color their hair. I would rather you do it properly than to jack it all up and then I have to fix it. In two months, three months, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how long. My children are screaming in the background. They're supposed to be napping. Disregard. Disregard that. So here's what you want to do. Get your chemicals ready. Get them all set. Lay everything out. Don't have like some chemicals on your hair and then like need a comb and have to go dig for a comb or need a clip and then have to dig for your clip. What you want out is you want your bowl, you want your clip for your hair, you want a comb. Um, if you have gloves, you can use them, but most of us don't have gloves right now because they're all going for medical care and to our medical community. So your hands are going to turn dark color. They just are. You're going to have crazy hands. Unless you bought a box and then like gloves come in with the box, I mean, it is what it is. We are doing what we can. And then also, if you have a bottle and you need to mix your ingredients, make sure you are reading the directions. Before you start putting your chemicals together, I want you to sit down, make yourself a hot tea, because hot water is really good for you right now. That's what they're saying anyway. And I want you to read the entire directions, all of it, top to bottom. Not like one, not like two. Don't just look at the pictures, read them all. So get on an outfit that you can change into or change out of. That's what I want to try to say. Get an outfit that you can change out of easily without putting it over your head because you're going to be getting in the shower. It's the best way to shampoo your hair. I personally haven't showered today. I haven't washed my hair in about four days. It's real fugly. It's okay. It's okay that it's dirty. Here's the thing. Um, I do like a dark hoodie. You can do a button up, but whatever it is that you're gonna wear, make sure that you are okay with it getting messed up because you probably will splat some color on it, drip some color on it, drain some color on it, it probably will get messed up. So this is my coloring hoodie. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> okay, now, this is a very important step. Do not skip this step. Don't just go balls to the wall and start putting it all over the place. You need to quadrant out your hair. This creates a methodical process in which you can make sure that you have covered all of your gray hair. If you just go willy-nilly and getting all crazy in there, you're going to have what we call cheetah spots. You do not want cheetah spots and you do not want banding. It is an extremely expensive color correction. Take the time to quadrant out your hair. Okay, now we are gonna quadrant. Quadrant on our hair. We're gonna take our comb or whatever you've got, go down the middle. Make a part, and this is gonna really help you see where you're going to need to color. Now, some of you who aren't going to be seen for a really long time, maybe you just need to do your perimeter, and that's okay. That is totally okay. Oh, I'm gonna do it with this one. I'm gonna do it with this one right now. Quadrant one. Quadrant two, okay? This is just down from the top of the center of the head down to the back of the ear. Very easy to reach. This is going to be the most important part that you do not mess it up. Okay, then I'm gonna pull all the back hair together and I am going to 
with that all together. So three quadrants, sometimes you can do four, if four is more manageable, where you put a line down the center and you do one and two, or one, two, three, and four, then go ahead and do that. That's fine, that's fine. It's all one color, do not, do not try to use two colors right now. Don't do it. Okay, now you're gonna decide which fingers are gonna be your pinchy fingers. There's going to be fingers that you're going to need that are going to get colored. And the stain is going to stay on your colors and stay in your fingernails for quite a while. So if you don't have gloves, it's just part of it. You're gonna trade out your tinsel for your finger pinchies, okay? So you've mixed up all of your color. You've mixed it all up, whether it be in a bottle or be in a bowl. Mine is in a bowl with a brush, okay? And you're going to take one quadrant out, comb it, comb it, so that there's no hiccups, okay? And I want you to go along the part line. Make sure you're going down far enough. Make sure you're going down far enough that it's covering your entire regrowth area. Okay? Regrowth, regrowth. When you are mixing your color, really get in there. Don't be wimpy about it. You've got to really mix it up and mix it up good. Now, when you have loaded your brush, like this, you're gonna press it down and into your scalp. If you do not feel cold wetness, you have not used enough and you are not pushing hard enough, okay? So, and no dinky loads. Get that loaded up in there, all right? So, now we're gonna start from the bottom. And yeah, your shoulder is going to burn. There's a reason why you pay a professional for this. Because not only is it pretty messy, but it can hurt a little bit. Your shoulders are probably gonna be a little bit sore. Do you see how I'm taking one small section, small section, section, loading up the brush, get in, press it down, press it down, cover it all, get out. Do not let this take an hour. That will seriously jack up your hair. Get in, get out. Okay. Get in, get out, create your line, pull it down. And yes, load your brush between each individual sections. That was a funky section. Okay, second quadrant, second quadrant. Okay. We are going to do the next side. You have to kind of flip flop here. Get the entire thing, comb it, make sure that there's no funkiness or anything snagging. Hold it up. I want you to do the entire perimeter. If you have perimeter graying, this is gonna be a really important part. get all of your grays done. Okay, now this is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna flip it over, end over end. Okay, take your section, see, make it clean, clean sections, load that brush up. When in doubt, thinner sections, okay? When in doubt, thinner sections. 
Some people would say you would want to have to see through the hair. Sometimes. I mean, professionals do that, but... Notice how I'm color. holding the section taut. <laughs> that keeps the section clean so that you can oh, apply the product gosh. more evenly. Look, I would rather have you do this right because I know you're going to do it. You know? Some of you are going to have to do it to feel good. And I don't want you just out there out there in the breeze, swinging in the breeze. You know what I mean? If you have a ridiculously ungodly amount of hair and you are buying a box, you need to buy two. Besides, if you're out there and you're buying one box, you should just buy two. Because if you're gonna do it again, you need to be using the same color don't change your colors every single time because that's going to create banding, okay? It's going to create banding and it's going to create a major problem. You do not want that. Am I saying that to scare you? Yes. Yes, I am. There's a reason why you pay a professional to do this because there is an art to it. And even though maybe I make it look simple, it's not totally as simple as it seems. And you can really jack up your hair, like really bad. And it can cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars, maybe, you know, into the thousands if you really mess it up. Okay, now I'm gonna lay it flat so that my hair is down where it's living here. You can also take Your clips kind of clip it down here don't clip it up where there's um, color because it's going to leave a crease and there could be some color in there and then you'll have a line of color and that will be really difficult for your hairdresser to figure out how to fix that that will be really jacked up don't do that okay we're gonna go on to the fourth or third or fourth quadrant the back here's where things can go really badly okay you can't see back there. Maybe you want to get your daughter to do it, your son to do it, maybe. Maybe you want to get your husband to do it, your partner, whoever you're with, if you're with people right now. But you're going to want to do the back, okay? If you're just, like, concerned about what you look like from the front, then I say just stick with the front. Don't even worry about the back. Just stick with the front and be done. But if you're going to do the back, right now you need to assess if you need more chemical. You might not, because usually we mix up around a total of two ounces for root retouch. But if you've really let it grow out and it's like an inch or an inch and a half worth of regrowth, you're probably going to need something more like three ounces to really saturate. Okay? So, again, read your box. Figure out how many ounces you're going to have. If you have a total of one ounce of color and it's a one-to-one -one mixing ratio, that means you're going to total have two ounces. If you have an ounce and a half and it's a one-to-one -one mixing ratio, that means you're gonna total have three ounces, okay? If you have one ounce and it's a two-to-one mixing ratio, then you're going to have a total of three ounces. Yes, hairdressers do math every single day, all day, ratios. If you don't think you need to learn them in school, you do. Okay, so you've brushed out your third quadrant or your fourth quadrant, however many you feel like you need to do, and you're going to want to do the perimeter, right? This is where you can really jack up your hands, okay? Your hands are probably going to be all black. Okay. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hold all of the hair. I'm gonna get underneath, the underneath part. I don't even know, I don't even know how to show you this. 
I'm gonna hold it up. I'm gonna start from the side. I'm gonna pull it down. Going in blind. You gotta really feel this. You gotta really be able to feel it. Okay? I'm going to look in my other mirror. And by now, your shoulders are going to be shaken. Your shoulder is going to be shaken. Just breathe through. If you feel like you're taking too big of sections, you probably are. Pull back, bring it back up and start again. Okay? And really be saturating your brush here. I got quiet because I'm concentrating. Okay, and really get that in there. Now, okay, I feel like you've done with the back. Okay, you think you've colored all of your hair. But now, what I want you to do is pull this up and around your perimeter. I want you to get a little bit more and I want you to get your temple area again. Usually if you're coloring and you're freaked out, it's because all of the grays are showing all around the perimeter of your hair. Get a little bit on your face. It'll scrub off, okay? You're not trying to not get it on your skin. You're trying to get it all over your hair, okay? Also, <laughs> this is not the time to color your eyebrows. Do not color your eyebrows, okay? Okay, I just washed my hands to try to prevent a little bit of the staining, but it's definitely gonna stain. And I'm going to take my comb and I'm going to gently, gently comb. Just gentle. You're not pressing hard, you're just gently combing, okay? This is going to help just kind of with the banding. Help it so that it doesn't band. And maybe if you've missed a spot, some of the hair will kind of get onto it, okay? This is also where you can really build up some color on your comb and it can plop all over your floor, all over your shirt, on your face, don't get it in your eye. Okay, that should be enough. Should be enough. All right, don't get crazy. Do not get crazy. This should take you a total of 20 minutes. If you're going over 20 minutes, you gotta speed it up. Okay, you can do this. We have applied, we have combed, and we have, we have immediately set a timer immediately set a timer. Set it on your phone. It's really, really simple. Read the directions on the box, if you've got a box. But I am telling you, straight up, straight up. If it's less than 30 minutes and you've got stubborn grays, it's not going to cover it fully. You're going to need to leave it for a full 30 minutes. If you don't leave it from a full 30 minutes from the last moment that you put color on your hair, then you are going to have banding and you are going to have like kind of colored gray hair, but it's going to rinse out really fast and then it's going to turn orange and red and it's going to be all kinds of messed up. So put a timer on for 30 minutes. 
During this time, it's also a good idea to just clean your whole area. You don't want any of the color to be sitting on the floor, sitting on the counter. Um, you can take, if you've gotten real crazy around your face, do not wipe it off your hair, but you can take and wipe it off of any of your skin zones if you've got it really far down, but don't wipe it off of your hair. Anything it touches, it is going to stain and it will ruin. So you don't want it to sit and oxidize and process in the bowl or on the brush, on your counter or on your floor. It will stain it. You see this mark right here? accidentally hit it with a brush one time and I didn't even remember that I did it and because my hair color is not really a color it's kind of cream it didn't show <laughs> and then I came in here and I was like oh crap <laughs> there's hair color brush mark on my wall right here right here I'm gonna have to get a picture or plant cascade down on it Here are some seagulls flying. What I wanted to talk to you about is washing your hair out. Um, you're going to want to wash it twice. Don't skip that. Wash it really, really well and wash it twice and rinse, 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 rinse. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Take care.